Hey guys, Garrett here, and I'm doing a review on <clears throat> Marvel Comics Avengers The Ultron Imperative. And um, my dad's American friend gave this to him, and he gave it to me and stuff. And this looks very modern and old and stuff to me, but uh, it's a pretty cool comic book. And like, <clears throat> so I think basically the story is focusing on Ultron and his knockoff version of the versions of the Avengers and stuff. <clears throat> I think that's kind of cool actually because um, I want to see other Avengers fighting other Avengers and stuff and there's a lot of commercials here and as you can see they look creepy as heck man I can't stand that but <clears throat> but I would say that this is a must read. You have no reason not to buy this book and read it or something. You could get this for Christmas or order it online and stuff. Like they gather new members and to fight their knockoff versions and they march off to war with Ultron and stuff and like Ultron's like the super duper mean bad guy and stuff. And he's really, really cool. I'm just organize some stuff here. Yeah. And uh <clears throat> really awesome comic book. You can get it for five nine nine US and eight nine nine Canada dollars and yeah. Pretty good. Boom. And uh this cover also is very, very amazing. And uh you get to see Iron Man. If you didn't know he's my favorite superhero and in like one in the final page you see a art background thing of the Avengers fighting uh robots. Wait, are those scrolls? Those don't look like Ultron. Yeah, this is definitely not Ultron. It's something else. It might be the scrolls. But uh it's really cool. You get something that you can enjoy. I enjoy this so much I cannot stop looking at this for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with me. No more art more art background things. And, like you you got to buy you gotta read this book. Bro. You have to. It's just something you must read. And in the back you get something there. You have to read this book. There's no reason not to buy this book and read it for yourself and I kind of taped it, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I don't want to damage it, I don't want to... And as you can see, there's tape, I accidentally ripped it off and there's Spongebob and Patrick there. <sighs> Got Ultron here, Bing. Awesome. And, uh, what do I think of this book? It's a must read book, obviously. You got to read this book. No reason not to read this book, okay? No reason not to read this. If you, if you want to read a good Marvel comic, like, I mean, all the comics are really good. All the Marvel comics are good. Some of them, some of them are not good. Pick this up. Definitely pick this up. It's all, to me, it looks like it was released in like the 70s or something. I don't know when Iron Man or any of the Avengers were released or so, but it, but it looks modern. It looks like it was released a long time ago, but still, I like it. It's really good. And, yeah. I believe this is issue number one. Or is it just only this book? And as you can see, there's another comic book here. It looks like it might be the book after this, but it looks like, I don't know. But uh, it looks like it was released a long time ago, too. So I guess this, this book at the end right here is really old. This one, awesome, awesome, awesome work. I don't know who the writers are. They don't even see it on the cover, which is off. But, yeah, so I want to say just read this book and stuff and... <laughs> but I don't know what's wrong with me and uh yeah see you guys hey.
stop this. Oh yeah, this is fun.